Hello and welcome to Surprise Toy Box. I'm back with yet another Valley Village toy haul. Um, so I dropped by again this week and someone had actually donated a huge lot of Lego. And unfortunately I already used my 30% off coupon so I ended up just um, grabbing two bags that were priced at $14.99 uh, and used two $2 off coupons. Um, I actually sorted through this the other day and look at all this trash. So these are all like off brands like Mega Blocks, um, Connects, and then other random toys. Like there's a, there's a toy frog there. There's like a card, there's a SpongeBob card. Gary. Yeah, so this bag is like really heavy, like probably like one and a half to two pounds worth of trash. And here is left with maybe three to four pounds of Lego, which is <clears throat> a lot less than I expected. And unfortunately, a lot of these Lego pieces are chewed up. So the kid who um, played with this, I don't know, he must have just like chewed every single piece or something like that. So I'm gonna have to pick those out and probably throw them away because they're pretty mangled. But this is a pretty dirty and dusty lot so I'm gonna give it a bath uh, later today or this week. <clears throat> but uh, there was one base plate. So I think at Valley Village there was about five bags that were $15, one bag for $10 and one bag for $18. And I might have like picked them all up if I had my 30% off coupon, but maybe it's better that I didn't because there's just so many trashy chewed up pieces and so much like garbage stuff. So I'm gonna have to like donate this back to Valley Village. Now a quick update on the last uh, classic Lego uh, lot that I bought, the $25 one. Uh, I so I uh, washed it and uh, sorted everything out. So there's all the whites. There are a bunch that are discolored. Um, here's the yellow, not that many. Here is the red matrix. So I'm not using the tripod today, so my uh, phone is going all over the place. Here's the blue. Um, is this? this is like the mix of gray and clear and special pieces like uh, windows, fences, and uh, wheels. There's a hair there. And a pack of black bricks. And then the base plates. So I weighed it all. It's about uh, just over 4 pounds. 4.1 pounds if you include the base plate or it's about um, 3.4 pounds if you take out the base plates. And there were some cool pieces in here. Not not the Lego Friends and the Stormtroopers. Those are from the last lot. But there is one classic spaceman. So I think that is probably a classic space set in here. Um, if I can like find all the pieces and try to piece things together. But these are in really rough shape. Here's some like vehicles. There's like a random I don't know officer or something like that. Um, they, the the heads. Some of them don't even have faces anymore. But their neck is so loose it doesn't even like stay on the torso piece. So this is in really rough condition. So, uh, like twenty dollars for four pounds of Lego is not too bad. Um, but it's because it's very uh, basic colors. I don't know if it's worth that much. Uh, people like, you know, the browns and grays and blacks. Not so much um, these like red, yellow, and blue pieces. So the last thing I picked up this week is actually this Lego Ninjago uh, World of Ninjago official guide. Um, I wasn't going to get it, but if you look over here, it comes with minifigures. And um, this was in the... Uh, picture book section so it's $1.29 but when I went to cash they actually tried to charge me $1.79 as a chapter book but I was like mm, this isn't really a chapter book there are like a lot of you know pictures and stuff and I did find it in the picture book section so um, the cashier talked to the manager and uh, gave it to me for $1.29 anyways so usually the minifigures 
minifigure is gone in this book. I did find another one that was in like brand new condition. Um, I didn't pick it up that time and I wish I did. But um, I'm not really a Ninjago fan. But this is actually only supposed to come with one minifigure. But I think the kid that owned this book like shoved a lot of figures in here. Because there's one, two, and I think there's one more up there. So I'm going to pull up, pull out this tray and um, see what we got. So after some difficulty, <clears throat> I pulled out the tray. Looks like we got three minifigures here. So I don't know anything about Ninjago, but um, I'll give it a go. Uh, how does this work? Is it here? So here's a white ninja, and he comes with uh, his sword and a hair piece. So I think it's actually only supposed to come with the black one. So it's this one, I think. Here's the black ninja. Ooh, it's sticky. Uh, he doesn't. I think this is supposed to be his hair piece, but there's like uh, di three different. Oh, super sticky. Um, three different head pieces: black, red, and blue. And then a third one here. He has a cape. So let me know if you know who these characters are. Um, is this supposed to come with me? When I looked online, um, I only saw this one. Sorry. This one that's uh, listed on the cover of the book. And then it's just like different his head, his hair, his uh, weapons, and his body. But yeah, I'm not sure. Uh, so I thought a dollar twenty nine for three figures is not too bad. And because I don't know anything about Ninjago, I can read up on it and learn more about Ninjago. So I've only watched the Lego Ninjago movie. That's pretty much my only knowledge. And this is like aimed for kids, but it has, um, you know, the profiles of all the different characters. Um, and then there's like a little, I think, story at the end. So I'm going to give this a quick read and then I'll probably donate back to Valley Village. <clears throat> it has a price tag of <clears throat> $14. I know it says $15 here, but it's listed at $13.99 Canada. So <clears throat> that's my pickups for this week. I will probably wash this uh, tub of Lego this weekend and I will again update you on what I got, any special pieces, and um, see if I continue my thrift shopping. Uh, let me know if you like these thrift haul videos, leave a comment, a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!